say goodbye to dry, hollow, fluffy fries. Today, I'm sharing my five tips to get perfectly crisp french fries. These are the ultimate homemade french fries and so much healthier than deep frying. You in? Keep watching. Hey there, welcome back. My name is Kathy from fabulouslyfrugal.com and I love helping people use their air fryer by showing simple and easy recipes and all the air fryer tips and tricks. I've had a lot of you ask me how to make homemade french fries in your air fryer. And quite frankly, it's perfect because I am an Idaho spud girl myself. No, I do not have a potato farm, but I do like myself a good potato. So we're gonna make some french fries today. So after a lot of testing, I got all the hacks and tips you need for the very best homemade air fryer french fries. And with these fries, you are going to want some fry sauce. I have a video showing you how to make those. If you've never heard of fry sauce, it's time to get this in your life. Are you ready to make some french fries? Let's go. First, we're gonna start with russet potatoes, about a pound and a half. You're gonna want some nice big ones so you get some nice long french fries, of course. These are the best kind to use for nice crispy fries. First, you're gonna wash and then peel your potatoes if that's how you roll. Personally, I like the rustic style potatoes, so I just give it a good old wash and I leave the skins on. Now for tip number one, it's important to cut your potatoes evenly. If you've got some skinny and some fatter ones, they're gonna cook unevenly. You don't have to be perfect, of course, just do the best you can here. With the thicker steak cut, you're gonna get a little more of the potatoey fluffiness in the middle. The thinner ones might be a little bit more hollow, but they will cook faster. Whatever you decide, you're gonna wanna cut them lengthwise first. If you've got a roly-poly potato, cut off one little end, then it's a lot easier to chop those wedges. You're first gonna cut half inch thick slices or planks. A quick tip for measuring a half inch, it's about a finger width length. Then when you have your half inch thick planks, you're gonna just flop those down and cut them into half inch thick steak. If you want it even smaller, go ahead and cut those smaller. Tip number two, rinse and soak your potatoes. Place your cut fries in a bowl and fill it with cold water, just enough to cover them. And you're gonna notice that the water is really cloudy. Go ahead and drain the water, fill it up again, rinse and repeat until the water is no longer cloudy. After about the second or third rinse, the water should be clear. After that last rinse, get some nice hot tap water running and fill the bowl one more time, and then you're gonna let it sit in that hot water for 10 minutes. This is gonna remove that excess starch so you can get nice crispy fries. And the hot water is gonna give it a little head start on the cooking process. Tip Number three, you've got to dry those potatoes well. Use some paper towels or a lint-free towel and dry these. If you don't do this, you're gonna have those soggy fries. So you want them nice and dry so the oil will adhere to the potatoes. Tip number four is using a bowl to toss the potatoes. Make sure your bowl is dry and then dump your potatoes back inside of it. I find it a lot easier to toss the potatoes in a bowl rather than the air fryer basket. Plus, it means you're gonna have less broken fries. Gently toss your potatoes with just one tablespoon of oil. I like to use avocado oil per Personally. Then it's time to transfer the potatoes to your air fryer basket. Now at this point, you could do it in one single layer, but that likely means you're not gonna get very many fries. So instead, I just kind of arrange them so air can still flow through. And that bowl, keep it handy, you're gonna use it again. You're gonna go ahead and turn on your air fryer at 350 degrees, and you're gonna run it for five to 10 minutes. Which leads me to tip number five, toss and redistribute regularly. You'll know when it's time to toss your fries when your potatoes go from a white to kind of a nice blonde color. It's gonna take anywhere from five to 10 minutes depending on your air fryer. And then after that first air fryer, we're gonna put them back into the bowl. We're gonna add another tablespoon of oil. And if you wanna add garlic salt or any other seasonings, now is the time to do it. I've got a mix here of a half teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. So let me know down in the comments below how you like to cut your fries, how you like them seasoned, and what you love to dip them in. I'm stirring all of that together, and then we're gonna put it back into the air fryer basket. Now we're gonna crank up the heat to 400, and we're gonna cook for anywhere from 10 to 20 more minutes, depending on what size of fries you did. But every five minutes, we wanna take them out of the air fryer, put them back in the bowl, toss them around in the nice big bowl, and then get them back in the basket. Tossing every five minutes ensures all the sides will be cooked evenly, and you're gonna have wonderfully crispy fries. If you didn't wanna do this, you could cook your fries in a single layer where they're not touching at all, but that actually seems way more time consuming to me. I would much rather have a nice big pile of fries to eat rather than going batch by batch by batch. Dip them in some delicious fry sauce. Be sure to look in the notes below for the recipe that I have for that. If you would like to see more tips and tricks for the perfect results in your air fryer, be sure to check out this video right here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.